Hello everyone, welcome to a Nothing Mini Fit Monday. This one we're going to be taking a look at a awesome character from the wizarding world of Harry Potter, or as I like to call it, the Potterverse. Um, we have Luna Lovegood here, and she honestly is probably my favorite character in the whole Potterverse, you know, with the novels and movies and stuff. She's honestly my favorite character? Um, she first appeared, I believe, in the Half-Blood Prince? I'm pretty sure. Um, actually, hold on, hold on, let me, let me remember, give me a minute. Um, oh yeah, oh, okay, okay, so she appears in the Order of the Phoenix, my, my apologies. Um, it's been a while since I covered Harry Potter. Um... But yeah, she first appears in that one, and she's um, uh, becomes a recurring character. And here, we get a Lego version of her. Um, this is the only version of her I have. Um, I maintain this, I'm going to say it again for those of you who aren't new, or for those of you who are new, sorry. If Lego Star Wars didn't exist, like if it, if it just wasn't a thing, and just Lego Harry Potter was the main theme for Lego, or the best-selling theme, I would buy every set, because I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Like, I've read the books at least five times. My favorite is definitely the Goblet of Fire, and then my favorite movie is The Prisoner of Azkaban. So I'm a big fan, and Luna Lovegood is is one of my favorite. Well, she is my favorite character. It's cool to have her as a minifig. Um, this version of her appeared in the Harry Potter collectible minifigure series 2, so she is a bit older in this version. She's 15 here, I believe, and she does have a new hair piece. Um, she also has a new skirt piece, and she does have a wand, um, it's brown. Um, I can just take my character's wand here. Here it is, or I guess just the standard brown wand here. It's meant to represent hers. Um, I, I don't know where the other one went. There's another one. Um, I just, uh, just misplaced it. So yeah, we're just gonna move on from that. Um, anyway, let's give you 360. So here she is. Sorry about the, you know, the dust and stuff on her. Um, but she's very, very, um, very, very great. Um, she does have another accessory. Uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. But she's a very, um, cute minifig. Um, she's great. Uh, let's see. She's one of the better characters in the series. Um, in fact, she stands out because she's so unique. She's very quirky. She has a very soft-spoken kind of personality, um, but she does become friends with Harry early on, even though she's a little bit strange, a uh, strange girl uh, initially, but she proves herself to be quite the, uh, quite the fighter, and it's really cool. We get to learn a little bit more about her backstory later on, um, especially in Deathly Hollows, which is nice, so she gets a lot of backstory, and um, she's very cool. A very cool minifig. I think she appears at least four or five times as an updated minifig. This is the 2018 redesign of her, so she is more accurate to the, to the movie versions of her, um, which is nice. And yeah, I think she's really great um, as a minifig. And um, yeah, um, let me get her accessory. Hold on, let me get that. It's off camera. So here's her accessory. It's a 2x3 flat tile in a baby blue. It's got this really awesome print on it. It's meant to represent the Quibbler magazine. Um, you know, the tabloid kind of magazine. Uh, you can see, you can pause and read that if you want to see that. Really cool. And this, uh, this, this um, character here, uh, that's actually foreshadowing her alternate face, which is great. This is a great piece to have. Just a really nice detailed little piece there. And you can put it in her hand, of course. Um, let's talk about her detail. Uh, she does have a skirt. I'm not going to take that off. But it does have little... I think they're unicorns? No. I think they're just horses in general. And there's little hearts and uh, little circles. And uh, They're meant to represent... This whole outfit is what she wore in... Oh, let's see. I think it was Half-Blood Prince. Again, I could be wrong on that. I'm a little bit rusty on the knowledge, a little bit, but I'm pretty sure this is what she wears in the um, Half-Blood Prince, so yeah. 
she has that famous, you know, pink kind of coat and then the skirt. Uh, there's no printing on her legs. Her legs are like the, um, the mid legs, so they can move. They're, they're short, but they can move. I can give you a little bit of a peek, a little bit right there. Sorry if you can't see it very well, but I'm not going to take the skirt off because it takes forever to take it off. But if you're wondering the color of the, the blue, it's actually this kind of color here. So it's the same, I believe it's the same color. Yeah. So that's like the color if you want to know, if you want to see that. Um, she only has printing on the front of her torso, which is a little bit of a shame. It is kind of covered by her satchel, which is a great piece. It's like a, like a purple satchel piece. And also, fun fact, the Indiana Jones minifig, when he was out in the sets that he came in, he also had the same piece, but it was in brown. So it's a really cool uh, part, and it's a really it's really neat that they're still using this. They're so long. Um, which is, it's just a great piece in general. Um, let's see. I'm going to take off her hair and the satchel so you can see her printing a little bit better. There we go. Now you can really see the detail of her there. It's really nice. The detail is really great. It's really accurate to the movies, especially, again, Half-Blood Prince. Unfortunately, there is no, um, there's no, um, back printing. So that's a little bit of a shame. You saw, you did see a little bit of a peek of her alternate face. There's the satchel piece. If you want to see that up close, there you go. I love her first face here where it's very calm. It's very, it's very Luna. It's very, like, just, um, observant. Like, she's just there. Maybe she's not all there. Um, it's a really cute, adorable face. It's really great. Looks exactly like Ivana Lynch, who plays her in the movies, which is great. Her alternate, actually, before I tell you, before I show you that, here's her hair piece. It's really awesome. It's like this new piece that kind of goes over. So the way this works is, I don't want to spoil the alternate, but basically, because she's wearing a satchel, if there is a regular hairpiece, it would just get caught on this and it wouldn't stick on her head. So Lego made a cool solution. They actually um, expanded the hair a little bit more on the back right here. So that's why it looks like it's going back um, more. So when you put it on her, it actually puts the satchel right in the uh, right in the perfect spot. So right here. So you'll notice there's a gap, so it, it makes the satchel able to stay on her, and then you can still have the hair on there, which is really great. It's really cool that they did that. Um, so, you know, whenever you have her with the satchel on, it doesn't, like, bother her hair. Like, it doesn't it doesn't make the hair pop off, which is nice. But I think it's about time to take off her hair, show you the alternate face. One more thing about the hair. I really like this hair. I think it could actually be used for a Rapunzel. Like, it looks really great for that. Um, although, if you put it on another minifig... Let me get Mr. Generic here. If you put it on another minifig without a satchel piece, it's a little bit awkward because it has a gap. So, yeah, just keep that in mind if you have... If you're wanting to put this hair on another person, um, just be aware that it's going to be a little bit gappy on this back. But let's take a look at her alternate face, which is my favorite part of her. And you can see she has on her Spectre Specs uh, from this same magazine. So again, this magazine ties into her face, where these same Spectre Specs here on, on, the, on the front of the magazine are here on her uh, back of her face. This is really great. It's exactly accurate to the scene in the uh, Half-Blood Prince again. Or it might be the owner of the phoenix. I'm a little bit iffy on which one it is, but she appears with these glasses on, and apparently these glasses were free from this edition of the Quibbler. So that's cool. I really love this face. It's really great. I love the like the sparkly metallic details. It just looks really great. Um, I just I love this this um this face. It's just really great in my opinion. So yeah, a really awesome alternate face. Um. Yeah, and again, there's no back printing, so, you know, it's just plain. But that's Luna Lovegood. Really amazing minifig. I'm glad to have her. Um, really adorable. A great addition. Um, pretty collectible. Um, and yeah, she's just really great in general. I love her character. I love her minifig. 
I do have a couple other Harry Potter minifigs. I don't have a lot because, I mean, it would be hard to get all the sets from the newer Harry Potter series. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do minifig Mondays on those two as well. I hope you liked this episode. Um, let me know, what do you think about Luna Lovegood? Do you like her character? Do you not? Let me know what you think. Um, and uh, thank you very much for watching this. Stay tuned for the next Minifig Monday, which will be another surprise. And I hope to see you then. Um, thank you so much for watching this. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, and um, have a great day. Thanks again.